welcome to my kitchen and today we are going to make some fried zucchini sticks these are inspired by um, the zucchini sticks that we used to get when I was in high school in Tucson Arizona at Peter Piper Pizza on the corner of I don't even remember it was on Speedway Boulevard. I can't remember. It's probably not even there anymore. I don't know. But in any case, they used to make these fantastic zucchini sticks. Um, I took two zucchini and I cut them in half and then I cut each half into uh, eight spears. Okay? And then I cut each spear right down the middle. Um, when you get them at Peter Piper Pizza, they were this long. Okay? But I don't want them to be that long tonight because they're kind of unruly. Um, so... I'm going to use the same beer batter that we used for the onion rings that we made. And really, it's just as simple as that. We're going to dunk them. And we're going to plunk them. Just like that. These are so easy and so delicious. You know, we're having onion rings because I had a request. And I thought, you know what? Those, those zucchini sticks that we used to get when I was a kid... Wow. I'm going to make those. And you just keep dunking and plunking until you're all done. And then you remove them. They don't take long. And these you can fit quite a few in the pan. I'm going to stop there. Rinse off. This beer batter is super versatile. You can use this for so many things. And really good. And we did that beer batter in a separate video, and you can refer to that. I will put a link either somewhere on the screen here or right down below. And if you have your oil hot enough, you don't have to worry about these absorbing a lot of grease or fat or oil or whatever you want to call it. Um, you just want to really maintain um, the temperature. Sometimes when you have an electric stove like I do, that's kind of difficult to do. You can go ahead and use a frying thermometer and you can keep it at about 325 degrees and that should do you really good. But you see how it's just a gentle simmer. You don't want it to be any more violent than that because then you're going to run the risk of a lot of splatter. You're going to run the risk of hurting yourself. And um, the cameraman, you don't want to do that. Or the beagle. Well, the beagle is backed off quite a bit. So okay. These are ready to come out. Beautiful. Go ahead and give them a shake before you remove them over to the paper towel because then you're sure that you're not going to get a lot of oil over there on the, um, you know, you don't need it sitting in all that oil. So that right there, look at that. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. Zucchini sticks. Super easy. Super delicious. And I bet you didn't know they were that easy. I hope that you try these and I hope that you love them. And I hope that you'll go check out the beer batter recipe and the onion ring recipe along with all the other fried treats that we've made this week. I think we're on kind of on a, a fried kick. But um, I can assure you that we didn't have fried food every single night this week. No. We kind of make these videos all at one time and then upload them you know, like in, once a year. incrementally. We hardly ever fry, honestly. So... Um, you can always get the recipe for this over on my website, and that's noreenskitchen.com. And I thank you so much for visiting me in my kitchen tonight. It's always so much fun when you come to see me. And if you're my regular, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about my zucchini sticks. And if you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on one minute of fun that we have here in my kitchen. I hope that you try it. I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.